Welcome to my Introduction to Philosophy class. This is Module 1, Introduction to Greeks, Lecture 1A, Introductory Thoughts. Philosophy deals with the fundamental questions we have as human beings. It's divided into several branches. We'll look at them briefly now and then in greater detail. Metaphysics. What is reality? Does reality change or is it, is it static? This goes all the way back to the ancient Greeks. Does everything change or is there some underlying unchanging reality? Are mind and matter two separate realities? Or are they really part of the same reality? This question is fundamental. If they are separate, how do they interact with each other? How does mind interact with matter and matter interact with mind? If matter is the only reality, as many modern scientists say, where does mind come from? Do we have free will or is it all determined? Does God exist? Can we prove it? If God exists, why is there evil in the world? Do we have a self? Or are the Buddhists correct that there is no self? If we have a self, where does it go when we die? Where was it before we were born? Epistemology. What is knowledge? Which of the following is a source of knowledge? Religious faith. Authority. Our rational mind. Our senses. Our intuitions. On what grounds can we doubt each of these? Is total skepticism valid? Skepticism says that we can never have full knowledge of anything. Is it possible that we live in a matrix reality, a brain in a vat, and nothing is real? That was the movie The Matrix. What is truth? Does truth correspond to reality? And if so, what if we do not know reality? Ethics. What is good and bad? Why is the murder of an innocent person wrong? It's a much harder question than you think. Try to come up with an answer. Does ethics change from person to person or culture to culture? Or is there one universal ethical law? If a culture says murder is right, is it right for that culture? Is something good because God commands it? What if God commands something unethical? Can we learn ethics from science? Is every If everything is determined, does it even make sense to talk about ethics? Political philosophy is a branch of ethics. What is justice? What are rights? Should government redistribute wealth to make people more equal? Logic. What is a good argument? Which of the following are true? Which are valid? Is valid the same as true? All men are mortal. Socrates is a man, therefore Socrates is mortal. This is a valid argument. It was invented by Aristotle. It's called a syllogism. All men are mortal. My cat is mortal, therefore my cat is a man. This is obviously an invalid argument. All men can fly. Plato is a man, therefore Plato can fly. This is is a valid argument. It's not true because the premises are not true, but it is valid. If the sun appears to rise in the east every day as long as we can remember, is that proof that it will rise in the east tomorrow? This is known as an inductive argument. Are inductive arguments true? A politician says, you claim you wanted to decrease military spending so there is more money for social programs. This shows you want to leave our country defenseless so we can be overrun by our enemies. This is known as the fallacy of the straw man. You change somebody else's argument to make it much easier to rip apart. It's one of many classical fallacies in logic. Aesthetics. What is art and beauty? Which of the following would you consider art? A print copy of the Mona Lisa. The lowest scoring dance in Dancing with the Stars, a rap concert, a tattoo, a house painted orange, a dress worn by a movie star at the Oscars, 
Can we define art? Can you define beauty? The questions are not easy. Does beauty reside in the object itself, objective, or is beauty in the eye of the beholder, subjective? If beauty is subjective, can we even speak intelligently about something being beautiful? Maybe something's beautiful for me, but not for you. Is a piece of art produced by an evil person considered evil? Should we boycott art because we do not like the artist? Traditionally, philosophy is divided into five major branches that we showed. Metaphysics, epistemology, ethics, logic, and aesthetics. We'll have more to say about that in the next lecture. There are multiple sub-branches, such as political philosophy, philosophy of mind, philosophy of science, etc. Some philosophers combine ethics and aesthetics into one branch called axiology, the study of values. So we finally get to the definition of philosophy. Philosophy comes from two Greek words, philo, meaning love, and sophia, meaning wisdom. Philosophia, or philosophy, comes from the Greek. It means love of wisdom. Let us give a possible definition. This is one I like. Philosophy is the use of rational discourse to discuss ultimate questions. Let us break down that definition. Ultimate questions include the most fundamental questions humans ask about themselves, about their role in the universe. Examples of such questions are, what is reality? Does reality change? What does it mean to be a person? Does a part of us survive after death? Is there a God? What makes an act good or evil? What is beauty? How do we know? What is knowledge? What is truth? Countless other questions that deal with the ultimate issues we face as human beings. Rational discourse means using our reason to argue about these questions. Philosophy has its roots in ancient Athens where Socrates spoke with people about fundamental questions like, what is justice? What is piety? What is virtue? Let us explore more deeply the branches of philosophy. We will do that in the next lecture.